really interested to learn blender and want to create some 3d art just like these ones so you can directly visit to my website www.npsd.net i will put a link in my video description so hey guys what's up NPS 3 d here and welcome back so today i'm going to create something uh, really interesting so right now i am playing with geometry node when i got some free time so this is the first tutorial complete tutorial for the blender and geometry node this is very basic and very simple so you can make the stuff very easily i am using blender 3.1 alpha but you can use blender 3.0 which will works work uh, fine so right now you can see i have an iphone and uh, uh, i linked that iphone with the null and i just simply added a simple you know just position and rotation keyframe and just make them a looping animation you can see this is very uh, basics and easy so you can do it easily and then i will simply create a new uh, plane and then i'll press m and make this into a collection called zero you will select this plane and make sure you are in a geometry node editor and just click on this button called new and now we have a new node setup which is a input and uh, which there is an input and the, an output uh, node so i will delete this input and it will remove my geometry which is not any issue i will press shift a just like we press shift a here and i'll press shift a here and i will just search a grid and i will plug this into geometry and now we have the same but now we have a control which will never end just like i can make it two by two i can make it 12 by 12 so for now i'm going to make five by five or maybe a six by six like this and on here i can change the vertex maybe 12 by 12 so you can see good and what you can do even more i can press shift a and add a value node and just plug with both vertex x and y and now we can control the geometry with one slider and same you can uh, shift d and duplicate and plug this over this both x and y so now there is a one slider to control the x and y uh, scale or and there is a one slider to control the geometry how cool this is right so i'll make it 6 over here and 25 over here so i will add a new node called instance on point and i will plug it here and now again everything is gone so what you have to do now you need a basic object which will uh, display on every point as an instance so either i can uh, simply create a cube over here or i can simply come here and just add a you know just cube over here and just plug this into the instance and now you can see and there is a xyz size so i'll make it point two and then add set position node and plug it here so basically this node will displace uh, our geometry or plane just like i can move it with noise noise texture i can you know just displace them so let's suppose i can make a lot of so here you can see with this node we can displace just like a displacement you can see how cool this is so the offset is basically you can move it in a xyz or you can displace it like this way also super cool, right but i don't want to displace it with a noise texture so i'll make it first make it 0.2 and then i will just simply down the amount of our cube make it 25 perfect now i want to add this animation to drive the displacement on our grid so now i will just simply come to this iPhone and then i will simply drag this frame which is a frame or a box or a model of this iphone and drop it here and then i will just add proximity node geometry proximity node here and then i will plug this geometry into the target and now i will add a map range node plug this distance into the value and i will change this linear to the smoother step and i will plug this result into the offset and now you can see something have but not not animating so for doing the animation you must have to check this relative and now you can see something is happening but not the way we want so first i will add a vector math node and i'll plug it here and now i will change this you to multiply and now i can just displace this like so i will point nine is good because something is happening now i can you know just uh animate this value to control the animation this is super good it's super handy right so you can see now the animation is playing now it's a good time to set up a camera light and our flower 
object so first i'll press shift a and add a camera i'll press zero press n and now i will go to the view lock this camera and i will go to the camera settings and i will change it to the 200 and just simply unlock uncheck this camera to view and i will just make a new view so that i can see my render and at the same time i can see the 3d viewport also so this is good so i'll press like we want and i can even play it and then check it what's going on and maybe i can make it 85 i can select the grid i can go to here and i can make this size of the grid 8 so that it cover all the area or maybe i can make it 9 and now i can increase the points here you can see and let's play it again so this looks good to me and we can control it anytime because we are using geometry node so now uncheck this and now let's add a lighting part so first let's make it rendered view and also uncheck these things and go to the render view and now you can see this is cycles and gpu uh, selected and on the environment map I, on the environment i added a sky texture so let me do it again so just click on this new go to the color sky texture and on here i will make the evaluation to 5 or maybe 8 and change the rotation to triple 2 or maybe i can play and check the direction so maybe triple 1 good and then i can change the ozone to 3 and i can change the sun size to maybe 12 to get a softer shadow so 25 for the sun and this looks perfect for me you can see perfect and now there is few thing we have to keep in mind so first if you want to your setup is ready so what you need to do now you just need to change the object so let's suppose i don't want a cube so i will simply maybe i can delete this cube and now i will just add a cylinder over here and select this and put into the mesh and now you just need to just down the radius like this and I also i can just down the depth and now if i'll play you can see i will increase the radius a little bit and also the size so now you can see amazing right and what you can do more we can just simply add a random node random value node to you know just control the rotation and scale so i will simply plug this into the scale and now you can see we are getting some random uh, here you can see a lot of geometry so i can just down it so here you can see we have a minimum number and a maximum number so minimum number is zero so zero means no object so i will make it 0 0.01 so we have some object and maximum is one so i can increase it i can increase this number as well as you can see and we have a random seed also and uh, you can see looks pretty good and same you can do with the rotation so i will simply duplicate this but if you will plug directly to the rotation it will rotate like you can see not we don't have control on the rotation so i can add a combine xyz and i will plug this vector here and now i can plug this value to anyone so let's suppose i want rotation on only z so here you can see so let's suppose if i have a triangle or maybe a square so i can control them like this a lot of control and again we can go anytime on the scale and i can do it like you can see so this is all about to customize the rotation and scale and now we will change our cylinder into a flower object fine so for doing flower object first you need flower model so 
I am using Botonic which is a paid add-on but they also released a free version you can check the link will be in my video description for both the paid one and the free one you can use uh, any one which you like or you can simply download a 3d model from any a website and then you can put them here just like i'm going to do but for now i'm going to use so let's suppose if you have a botanic add-on so i will uh, create a new uh, plane and let's make it flower i will delete it i will solo this add a uh, scatter and let's suppose i want some flowers so i will go to the forest not forest floors i will go to the grass and here i will load a one with with uh, which has a flower so here you can see uh, one two three and four has flower so let's suppose i'm going to choose this one and i'll hit okay so now if you will see clearly we have a uh, rose flowers and we have some grass so i'm going to do it i'm going to delete this but we have this grass i'm going to press uh, m and i'll move them into a new collection called flower instance now i'm going to delete the rest of the things what i will do simply i will select our uh, node which is and then i will simply select this uh, flower instance and i will drop it here and now i will remove this instance or you can simply move it side or you can delete it if you want and then i can simply plug this into the instance and now i'll make it relative and now I will make it separate children and reset children and then I can make it I just just click on this button called pick instance and now you have something so let's suppose if you want to delete uh, some flowers just like I can come back I can come here and uh, maybe I can solo this so see so let's suppose I'm going to remove this flower or maybe I can simply delete it I can delete it and now we have uh, just these flowers which is good so now I can select the zero node and you can see we have a lot of uh, flowers going on which we don't want there is too much of flowers so I will select the rotation and I can just simply rotate it and 6.3 something a radius is equal to 360 degree which is complete one uh, uh, 360 rotation so I just put that so now you can see we have a uh, random things going on and now here is a scale so you can also play with the scale now you can increase the particle amount and this is good right I just uncheck this uh, pick instance no, mm, option so this is good you have one more option either you can also add a join join geometry node and just plug it here and then you can also plug this cylinder stuff so now you have a you can see a cylinder and also on the, uh, flowers so let's suppose i can come back to the radius and maybe i can just make it down and also i can work on the height so now we have a complete different animation you can also uh, use like a sphere if you want uv sphere or maybe a icosphere maybe down the radius we have a lot of control so i'm going to delete it now i can maybe add some more number of plants pretty good there is a one thing which i want to talk more about the color so for doing the color what you need you just need to switch this into the shader editor and now i will select our flower first go to the 3d viewport select everything press n and make them into convert to editable so now both I mean every uh, flower we can uh, now edit their shaders so I will come back to the shader editor and let's find out which has the I think the color yeah so once you find the flower uh, color or flower texture or flower material just unplug the color and uh, leave everything add a new node called elementary node and now we'll add a uh, one more node called separate xyz and i will plug this position to the vector and now i will add a map range node and i will plug this z value into the value and now we will uh, simply plug this into the base color and i will add a color ramp node here and now i can add two colors so you can see here we are getting some 
color now i can you know just play this and with minus one and we can go even more to add some color and it will go down like this with this from max you can also control it and again you can select the plane like let's suppose i want to change the scale little more so i hope you got some idea about with this tutorial and if you find this tutorial useful please hit the like button and uh, uh, you can also subscribe our channel and if you want to download this project file make sure to check my video description and uh, it will be available on my patreon page and thanks thanks a lot for my patreon members who are supporting me from along so that i can make many tutorials and i can again come back here and increase the number of flowers and i can come back anytime and make it the size down so thanks a lot for everything guys so thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and i will see you next time bye bye take care